In the future, we recommend that you not include a group photo. It's 29 rejections so far. Do we send pictures to everybody? Yeah, everybody except for, uh, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Here's one who'll see us. Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. lambda, lambda. lambda. Yeah, they're going to love us. As you know, we have no chapter at Adams College, which is why I've agreed to see you. But I must tell you, gentlemen, you have very little chance of becoming trilanders. I'm in a difficult situation here. I mean, after all, you're nerds. Last May, the Cincinnati Zoo had to shoot and kill a gorilla by the name of Harambe after a child fell into his enclosure and many thought that the, the gorilla posed a threat to the child. Yes, yes, the Young Turks are doing a video on Harambe months after the fact. Why? Why on earth would this happen? Guess what? They're going to turn a video about jokes about a gorilla into a fuck white people and defend black people video. Did she just say many thought that the gorilla posed a threat to the child? Yes, Anna, many thought that because there was a threat to the child. He was being ragdolled around the enclosure by an enormous gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Great reporting. Way to stay objective on that. Many thought. We're not sure if the child was endangered by the gorilla. <laughs> Jesus. Now, fast forward to months later, and many on the internet are still creating memes that the Cincinnati Zoo is not too happy about, and we now understand why. So this is a report about internet memes? Now, I'm gonna get to those memes in just a second, but if the memes are something that you've come across and you did not find them offensive, also consider the fact that now there are events on Facebook encouraging people to jump off bridges in honor of Harambe. Now, these events are posted and created and meant to be a joke, but some are not too happy about it. So I'm going to give you a few examples. Uh, there's one that says, jump off the Harbor Bridge for Harambe. Oh, yeah. Well, you probably should take that at face value. Yeah, that's probably not a joke. Way to totally show that you have no sense of humor. Please tell me that you're going to tell us that suicide is bad later in this video. Uh, jump off Telstra uh, Tower for Harambe. Uh, we don't encourage suicide, so that's kind of letting people know this is just a joke. Well, they had to add that later because they were starting to worry that the people were taking it seriously. You guys, there was a joke on the internet, but it could be seen as offensive. So, you know, this is very serious. I wore my black top for this. I'm glad at least they were worried about it. Yeah, and so people were also tweeting about it. Uh, Lucas Zelasco says... I love it. Okay, so here's the beautiful thing. They're like, you guys, uh, jump off a bridge for Harambe. It's a bad message. It's not right for the kids. You can't joke about suicide. And look at the graphic directly behind them. A bridge too far, which is a joke about suicide and Harambe. Oh, I get it, because like, it's a bridge too far, but it means two things, because it's an actual bridge that you should jump off of because of that ape in the back. Oh, way to go, guys. Way to chastise the internet for making jokes involving suicide, obvious jokes. And in so doing, you're sitting in front of a backdrop that's making a joke about suicide. Brilliant. We just invited, we were just invited to mass suicide bridge jump for Harambe on Facebook. Should I RSVP for anyone else? I love her somber way of reading these jokes. They talk about women not being funny. Anna's definitely not funny. But it makes it funny for us that she's so serious about it. So later on, the, you know, the creators of these pages uh, posted messages indicating, hey, you know what, this is just a joke, please don't take this seriously, uh, this is crazy, we don't want anyone to take their own lives as a result of what happened to Harambe. <laughs> we don't want anybody to take their lives as a result of what happened to Harambe. How do they not understand that they are the comedy? You doing a story on this is the punchline that these trolls could have only dreamed of ever having. But what's Equally disturbing to me is just the number of racist memes. <gasps> racist memes? What? Anna's here to defend blacks and gorillas. A racist meme? Did your research team go out and find a tweet that you found to be racist? <laughs> oh, they turned a Harambe story into fuck white people. Oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? That emerged 
from this tragic story of a gorilla getting shot and killed at the Cincinnati Zoo. So mm -hmm. I want to show you a few of those examples. These are the memes that eventually convinced the Cincinnati Zoo to delete their Twitter and Facebook pages. Um, so let's fast forward to graphic 40. We have 40 graphics to go through. <laughs> I want to show you some of these examples. Now, I also want to note that there were some lighthearted memes as well, but there were plenty of these memes. Another, another unarmed African-American shot dead. Okay, what do we have here? Another unarmed African-American shot dead. Uh, it's kind of a clever joke in the sense that that gorilla is a creature of African descent living in America. No, but of course you read it as black people are apes. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my God, I bet if you did some searches on white people, I bet you you're never going to find white people being associated with an animal. Right, Anna? Right? They're not jokes going back and forth? Nah, probably not. Let's show you another example. They shot my husband. Uh, and I That's a r real person. Okay, that's so nice of them to do that. <laughs> oh my God, it sounds like they're at a funeral. Oh my God, that, oh Jesus Christ. Look, and she's fat and, and black too, oh, on top of it. <laughs> I think that's uh, Gabare Sidibe, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> and I love this. They can't tell them apart. No, that's not Gabare Sadibe, whatever that is. Harambe. Uh, you, oh, God, she's fat and black. It must be that Gabare. Here's another example. This is just awful. Oh, this is awful. Uh, what y'all think would have happened to this gorilla? Rest in peace, Harambe. <laughs> Wait a minute. How is that racist? <laughs> that's an albino gorilla. If anything, that's saying white people are this guy. And it's a point that you people make all the time. That is your actual point that you make, where you say, hey, let's just pretend it was a white guy, he probably wouldn't be shot. You race bait that shit all the time. So you, please explain to me what is racist about this picture. Because if you're claiming that that's racist towards blacks, then it's just as racist towards whites. Uh, and then let's show you another example. Remember that kid that jumped into the gorilla tank? This is him. Feel old yet? <laughs> that is a good joke. But again, what is racist about that? The kid that fell into the gorilla pit was black. This guy is black. And he's wearing what looks to be a diaper popping out of a sewer. It is hysterical. What is wrong with that? Somebody tell me what's wrong with that joke. Absolutely nothing. If anything, this is a play on the fact that people constantly say, how old do you feel? Because they say, remember that person from that old movie? Well, here they are now. This is a clever joke. But the fact that it deals with black people at all triggers those people to say, oh God, it's racist, let's defend blacks. Here's a really good idea. If you're so offended by these jokes, if you think they're so poisonous to our society, why are you giving them a platform and broadcasting them, amplifying their signal to over 3 million people? Why would you do that? Uh, hey guys, I, I just wanted to say that I found a bunch of anti-Jewish imagery and memes. I was on a storm front and yeah, it was just terrible. Here they all are. And let me read them to you. <laughs> Fucking amazing. And I think you guys know the answer. The reason is, is because they're about to sit and pass judgment on all these meme makers. Because no people, it's not funny. Anna is here. Mama Anna is here to squash our fun. Suicide, not funny. Black men coming out of sewers. No, no, you cannot laugh at that. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. Yeah. Really funny. <laughs> and Jenk just doesn't get it. Yeah, Jenk, you think Jimmy Dore is funny. That is funny. That is fun. Okay, I'm somebody who understands humor. I've been known to make eh, tens of thousands of people laugh over the course of my life. That is funny. And then uh, let's give you guys one more. All gorilla lives matter. Again, first of all, the gorilla on the left looks way better than the one on the right. So this is insulting to white people, if anything. And how are they calling that racist? This is unbelievable. If anything, it's insulting to whites and blacks. Asians and Latinos come out okay on this. This is as cut and dry as you can get. To find that image racist is insane. Okay, so BuzzFeed explains that 4chan started uh, at least the bridge jumping stuff. Okay, just understand what we're listening to. They are quoting the journalistic reporting of BuzzFeed who is commenting on 4chan memes. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. This is the state of online news. <laughs> uh, and so I, I 
at that point, I hadn't read into the racist Harambe memes yet. Uh, but as Anna can attest to, I predicted it. I was like, mm -hmm. let's look into this because I bet that they're. I would be surprised if people didn't take this in a racist direction. Mm -hmm. And of course they did. Oh, if you look for it, I'm sure you'll find it, Cenk. You know what's racist? When somebody takes somebody, compares them to an animal, and mentions their color. So in other words, a black person looks more like a gorilla because both of them are black. Or an albino gorilla looks more like a white person because both of them are white. You see how that works? So if somebody were to say a fat brown buffalo looks like you, could that be racist and offensive or could it be accurate and funny? Go do a Google search on fat brown buffalo and enjoy. You're welcome. And so, okay guys, look. I love the heavy breathing. <sighs> okay, just breathe. Just be with the moment, you know. It's heavy. It's, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is a big one. This is a... Uh, no laugh track on this one, okay? No sound effects. We're talking about jokes here. Horrible, horrible jokes. I know that some people think racism is really funny. <laughs> no, jokes are funny. And your pathetic crusade to smear white people at all costs, that's funny. Your seriousness and faux gravitas right now, that's funny. Uh, probably because they never suffered it. <laughs> they never suffered it. In other words, uh, let me translate. They're white. Every meme creator is white. Black people don't joke about race. No, 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 it's too serious. Yeah, because after a long day of picking cotton, there's no time. They don't have the energy to joke around. <gasps> Was that a joke? Was that me suggesting that, huh, stating an absurdity like modern day blacks picking cotton and then not having the energy to joke about race is pointing out the fact that we are so far removed from slavery and that this ridiculous stigma about tiptoeing around the topic of race is all bullshit. So they never got denied a house. <laughs> denied a house. Oh, that's the newest meme going around the uh, regressive world, the redlining. Yeah, that's the biggest problem in the black community, redlining and house ownership. Were you not aware of the recent bubble in the housing market, which happened because too many loans were given to people of color? Motherfuckers. Uh, they never got charged so much more money uh, for financing. Oh, give me a break. Look at these number. These people are wizards with numbers. Oh, they got charged more for financing? Did it have to do with their credit score? Perhaps. No, was, I'm sure it was just racial. Yeah, those fucking racist banks run by the Klan. So whether it was financing a car or a house, and even though they're poor, they have to pay an extra penalty, they never dealt with that, so they think it's hilarious. Oh, so it's a poor thing. Oh, so it does have to do with economics. Oh, so this does happen to white people too? Oh, so it's not racial at all? Oh, you're a fat brown buffalo. Ooh. Oh, you're rotund and obese. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, and they family members never got shot. <laughs> Stop! Stop it, dude! You're fucking killing me. He's going down a checklist of let Let me play a little violin in the background for the poor blacks. Do 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 do. Little Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Genki, I got news for you. Family members have never been shot by the cops. Well, that's happened twice as much to whites. Twice as much. And those are pretty much deserved. About 99% of them deserved. And that goes for blacks too. And the disproportionate per capita nature of those numbers is completely understandable and totally justified. Totally justified. For me to justify my love. Huh. Uh. Uh, so haha, ha, it's really funny. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on, right? <laughs> you guys, it's deadly serious to be black in this world. Don't you know that? Black people don't laugh. It's that bad, okay? We forbid you to laugh about gorillas because somebody once called a black a gorilla. It's not funny. It's serious as cancer. Right. Okay, and I know why they did the bridge jumping thing. It's not like the joke was lost on us. I get it. What you're saying is people are overly emotional about Harambe and hey, why don't you calm down over it? And I get it. We'll tease you that we should all commit mass suicide because this 
issue is so important. Oh, you're so inside, Jank. Thank you for explaining jokes to me. Okay. Um, look, we covered the Harambe story, and a lot of people were really upset about it. And and I said, I wish they hadn't shot the gorilla, but if it was my kid, I probably would have asked him to take the shot, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jank. I love how he makes a distinction. If it was my kid, I would want them to shoot the gorilla. Somebody else's kid, not so much, don't care. Of noble of you. I think most people with their children would have asked for the same right. thing. Right. Yeah. And, and at the same time, uh, people got on me for that, etc. But what we're asking you on this show, sometimes with some success, but oftentimes with not much success, is for everybody to calm down and try to respect each other a little bit. You guys, the joking must stop. I mean, seriously, uh, we're, we're asking you. This is our plea. No more jokes, please. Respect suicide, respect Harambe, respect the memory of that ape, uh, respect blacks, respect albino gorillas, respect bridges. I, I, I know sometimes we feel like we're fighting against the windmills here mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and people online, they get a big kick out of making fun of other people and demeaning them and think like it's such a, they're so clever. It's like, I'm the first one to think of a racist meme, I'm so, so clever. Aren't you doing a series called Loser Donald, where you make a video about him mocking him every day? I mean, the hypocrisy is unbelievable. So in this segment, he's not going to make jokes about anything. He's deadly serious, I am super sensitive to all race issues, no more fun, no laughing. That's him right now. The next video, he'll be making fun of conservatives. Guaranteed. And, you know, look, I, I don't mean to, even though you, some of these guys are clearly racist, or maybe they're not, they just think racism is freaking hilarious, which by the way is another form of racism, right? What? I can't even follow this logic. Wait, making fun of racist memes is racist? Everything's racist. Smelling sunflowers is racist because they're yellow, and why are you smelling the yellow ones? They're Asian American flowers. Like, they, hey, I'll get, make fun of all the stuff that's really causing giant problems in your life, or you might have even caused someone in your family's life, but I, I don't care about you at all, so I'll make fun of you for that. Fucking unbelievable, these people don't understand humor. Oh yeah, the point of a joke is to be like deadly serious and be like, hey everybody, we really care about your problems. No, the whole point is to be lighthearted and irreverent. Well, okay, I don't know what you call that, I don't know if that's racism or if it's just you're just being a dick, right? Uh, and I know that some of the younger guys, they think being a dick is so funny, God, I was so mean to that person. I'm the funniest person because I'm such an asshole. <laughs> uh, just to point the obvious, are you making fun of those guys? Why are you imitating them? Why are you, why are you laughing and just being a disgusting fat body right now? Please be serious, Jank. Don't you care about those men? Uh, yeah, and maybe it is for that split second, but to you. But it isn't to other people. So what? That's the point. If a joke is not insulting to somebody, it's probably not a good joke. What, everybody has to universally love your G-rated joke? Unbelievable. What a sourpuss dick. We're asking you to, to think about that, but I, and, and then I guess we're social justice warriors. <laughs> you think? You guess? I'm asking you people to stop joking. <laughs> Please stop joking, it might offend somebody. We seek social justice for blacks. That is our crusade. Because we actually care about other human beings. Oh my God, you're so amazing. You two are, oh God, I'm so happy you found each other. Look at the way they're gazing at each other. Oh, you're awesome, dude. You care about everybody. The most empathetic man in the world. Right, because if you say a joke, what does it mean? It means you don't care about anything. You probably rape kittens. You're an asshole. Please be more like Gank and Anna. They're the ideal. Okay, these two people have held themselves up, nominated and elected themselves to be our role models. Be like them or shut the fuck up. And I know, it's that's, disgusting. It's, it's disgusting and unacceptable. What you should do is just like push other people around and demean them and try to hurt them. Who? Making a joke about an ape? is hurting people, what a dumb fucking thing to say. It's so aggravating, these people think they're so smart and they are not. Yeah. Because that's the decent thing to do. Yeah, I proudly uh, like will wear that label. I, I love being a social justice warrior. There you go, there you go. So unaware 
of how embarrassing they are accepting that label. What can you say to that? I am a social justice warrior, yes. And it's awesome because I'm awesome. It's, what more can be said? They do it themselves. They dig their own grave, they lie in it. I'd rather be a social justice warrior than a piece of fucking shit. Oh, Anna, here we go, uh, paging Diane Sawyer, your job's in trouble because this woman is eloquent and professional and she's oh so classy. Get off the stage, you fat fuck. I'd rather be a social justice warrior than a piece of fucking shit. Okay, how yeah. about that? Uh, Anna, how about this? I am literally grabbing my dick and balls right now. Both. I'm grabbing both of them. Squeezing. Checking for lumps. Suck my balls, Anna. How about that? So, so now they'll say, oh, no, you guys don't understand. Social justice warrior isn't people who actually care about justice. They're the ones who are overly emotional and stuff. No, it's not even just that. It's virtue signalers. It's narcissistic scumbags who want to put in the least amount of effort possible, engage in recreational outrage, and then proceed to do absolutely nothing to solve any social problem. What they're doing is hyping themselves up because they are degenerate egotists trying to score social points. Like pushing people and pushing them, pushing them, and then going, whoa, 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 what are you getting so emotional for? <laughs> I got you. God, shut up. Look at this man. Such a grotesque fucking goblin. Because I was such a dickhead to you and that you reacted in an emotional way. I think that you're you think it's proving something that it's not proving, <laughs> right? Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, God, somebody friggin' end this. You think, again, you're being so smart by being such dicks to people, mm -hmm. but you're not, that's not a smart thing to do. It's not a particularly clever thing to do. It's just a dick thing to do. Oh, Jenk's not a dick. Jenk doesn't make jokes, right? We couldn't probably go through his videos and find jokes where he was a dick. <laughs> no, you got to be noble and empathetic and awesome, like gank. I look, I and I hope you grow up one day. And I don't mean like, like, like I'm not trying to be better than people by saying, "Oh, well, you guys are immature, and I'm so mature." Oh, 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 oh really? Look at that! A, a little inkling of self-awareness just crept in. Oh, so on your high horse, you're sitting there, fucking way on top of your mountain, and oh, I'm not trying to say I'm better. No, no, no. no. Right? Yeah. L let's hear that. Tell me more. I make stupid jokes all the time. I make immature jokes all the time. Oh, okay, so what is the difference? Please tell me the difference, you fucking hypocrite. But I- tr But what? But? Oh, but? Let's hear it. But not about blacks, right? But I try not to hurt other people while doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Well, fucking what? Go ask the people that are the butt of your jokes if they're hurt by your jokes. Hey, Sam Harris, you know who's a pseudo-intellectual? It's Sam Harris, get it? I don't think that's too much to ask for. And don't hurt people. These they're exactly like leave Britney alone people. Leave Britney alone. I mean, that's exactly who they are. Look, I've come to the realization that the people who get that rise out of, you know, attacking others. Get off the stage, you fat fuck. You know, putting other people down. Get off the stage, you fat fuck. Those are miserable people. Get off the stage, you fat. Fuck. Right? Right. Hey, Jenk, is it right? I've been working here since I was a teenager. <laughs> oh, Jenk, you're like a father figure to me, like a gross, creepy, molesting uncle. You're a fat sack of shit who I cringe at the thought of touching. But am I right? Am I right right now? People, am I right right now? Right? They're not happy people. And mm -hmm. so this is, this is how they get joy in their life. <laughs> you know, people who make jokes, they make those jokes to get joy in their life. I mean, it's so sad, isn't it? There's an entire group of people, they're called comedians, and they go out and do this all the time. It's incredible. What the fuck is their problem? Get off the stage, you fat facts. And I feel like if you see memes like that, or if you see people getting attacked, or if you uh, will sit back and have no emotion when you see unarmed individuals getting shot and killed. <laughs> wait, 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 what? If you joke about something, you have no emotion when you see a man get killed. Oh, well, if it's justified, if he's reaching for a gun, yeah. If he's punching a cop, yeah, I don't feel remorse. Bitch! Well then, I mean, look, you're a sociopath. Uh, no, Anna, we're normal and sane. You're a social justice warrior and a regressive freak. That's the point. That's why, look at the likes, dislikes on this video. Not mine, yours.
Look at it and think to yourself, is it just a group of random people all being wrong? Or is it you, Anna? Is it you? Right? And no, it's not fucking right for the billionth time. Right? And so I feel bad for you more than anything, right? No, fucking Anna. It's not right for the billionth and oneth. Is one the word? No. And yeah. so if you want to attack me for being overly emotional or for passionately, you know, defending those who are defenseless. Okay, here's my problem. I'm too awesome, okay? I care about too many people and too many things. I feel their pain. I feel your pain. Anna's the type of girl that goes to a job interview. They go, okay, tell us about your strengths. She goes, oh, well, how much time do you got? Okay, well, now tell us about some of your weaknesses. Um, one of my weaknesses, I care too much. I try too hard. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> Anna, you're that bitch. You're a fucking hag-like shrew. Then go ahead. You can attack me all you want. Hook-nosed. Did I mention hook-nosed? That thing is a fucking anteater beak. Pecking and hooking and pecking constantly. But am I saying that I'm better than you? I guess I'm going a little further than you are. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Uh, but see, I told you they're not even self-aware. They're like, uh, yeah, I'm a social justice warrior. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to virtue signal. Sure. Do I think I'm better than you? Yes, I do. I think I'm better than you because you told a joke. What a fucking ignorant slut she is. But am I saying that I'm better than you? I guess I'm going a little further than you are. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Oh my God, somebody. Okay, I'm just gonna chop that up. I'm gonna chop that up and make an entire video of just that because she needs to be shamed for that. This is the entire thing. This is not a news show. You hear that? Construction, listen to that. The guy's like drilling in my teeth. Listen, this is my fucking life trying to do a recording for you people. Yep, no, we'll wait. I'm not editing this out. You're gonna experience this with me. They, you see that? Okay, now, Anna, here's the ding. Here's the ding. Here's the ting. The oh, fucking hell. But am I saying that I'm better than you? I guess I'm going a little further than you are. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Anna, listen to me. Okay, I, I'm just, I'm yeah, going forward. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. You're not a news show. You're not telling us anything right now. You're analyzing jokes that you found on the internet, and the entire point of this segment is to tell us how awesome you yeah, are. Yeah, I'm fucking and that, better quote, than you. And that, you're better than us. I'm fucking That's better than you. That's why you're a virtue signaling fuck. I'm fucking better than you. And Anna, to state the goddamn obvious, you're not better than I'm us. I'm fucking better than okay? you. Okay, much better than you. Ha <laughs> better than you. I paused it after that thing. It couldn't possibly be worse. She collects her thoughts and comes back with, dude, I'm much better than you. <laughs> I'm much better. <laughs> you are garbage. Okay. Oh, wow. It's getting personal. You're garbage now. You Harambe bitches. Hey, if you get a rise out of attacking the powerless, you're garbage. Oh, the powerless. Who's fucking powerless? What, gorillas are powerless? <laughs> what are you talking about? No jokes about midgets. Midgets, look how small and fucking dainty they are. They're petty little scummy. They're not barely human. They can't do anything. Never joke about a midget. Don't empower the midget by... Uh, I mean, if you joked about a midget, you'd be saying they're kind of like everybody else, worthy of being criticized and joked about. Don't do that. Don't make that mistake. No, they're midgets or they're blacks. No, no, off limits. Verboten. And you can call me a social justice warrior. A social justice warrior. Uh, Anna, I'll call you a lot of names because you deserve it. You're a fucking horrible person. Anna, you are. We've seen you. You've outed yourself. You've played your hand. We know who you are. You're classless scum. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. Oh, the fuck word. Hey, Steven, what does that mean when she says fuck? You tell me that. Yes, I agree with you, Cenk. So much. That's absolutely right. When you use the F word, you know it's real talk. I okay? said fuck. So we have a bunch of people who wanted to make phone calls. You you asked me, uh, demanded that I make you a ham sandwich, and I was just kind of wondering if you still wanted that sandwich. I could probably put it in the mail for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Karen, everybody knows I said that as a joke. Okay? And you didn't make me a ham sandwich! That's bullshit! That's bullshit! Get the fuck off the phone! Get the fuck 
fuck off the phone! Get off the phone, you anti-woman, poor sandwich making fuck! Get off! I'm a feminist! I'm the real feminist, bitch! Okay. Bitch! No, uh, listen. At this point, I don't give a shit, okay? Oh, a shit, cause it's fuck and it, then it's shit! Hey, I'm a cholo, don't even mess with me, eh? I'm a fucking Armenian, cuz, but I was raised in the fucking valley, eh? So it's fucking it's shit, homie. Don't be scared, homie. Yeah, what up? Okay, that's it. That's who I am. Yeah, we know who you are. And fuck you. You suck donkey balls, Anna. You're a fidgety piece of trash. You're olive trash, is what you are. That's it. That's who I am. And it is what it is. So it's not a matter of being better that somebody's richer, more famous, whatever. No, it's a matter of who's more decent to other human beings. <laughs> you, gang, you're the, it's not about richer or more famous. What are you talking about? More decent? Look at the hysterical frenzy they've gone on because they found, they sought out and found jokes that they were offended by. What precious snowflakes. Eat shit. And if you think that's a funny standard, like <laughs> who would want to be decent to other human beings? Well, then you should proudly wear your label as sociopath. Yeah, jokes aren't decent, people. If you tell jokes, you're basically Jeffrey Dahmer. You should say, yeah, I'm a sociopath. I get a real kick out of not caring about anybody else in humanity. <laughs> right, kind of like how you never done a video about a white person who was shot by a cop. You ignore that. You show no decency, no empathy. Oh my God, well, I guess they were all powerful, right? The powerful white man undeserving of a video talking about their death. Well, if you know that's who you are, then whatever, you're a sociopath, cool. And so, congratulations? Huh, congratulations? This is me being a sarcastic douche. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and so for the people, uh, let me end on this note, who are upset by all this, Anna's right, right? No, Anna's not right, not right. Anna's wrong, right? So they're trying to get a rise out of you and they're making fun of you for actually caring about whether it's Harambe or other living creatures or other human beings. Uh, did you see Anna's just freak out hissy fit? They did get a rise out of her. Other races, don't let them get under your skin too much because. Oh, oh, so not letting them get under their skin? Why don't you do a 10 minute video about it on your channel with 3 million subs? That'll show them. Yeah, ignoring them probably wouldn't be better. <laughs> if you actually disapproved of what they were doing, you probably should ignore it and not yell it out to the entire world. Remember, their main joy is to cause grief to other people. Boy, how much does their life suck? <gasps> Gank's life is so good, you guys have no idea. Oh God, he is so accomplished and amazing. Gank, oh yeah, it's just, if you tell jokes, especially about Harambe, you're probably a low life scumbag with no life. So no matter how low you get with whatever their situation is, think about that guy sitting somewhere whose only joy in life is to try to make other people miserable. Mm -hmm. Oh right, he has no girlfriend, he has no work, he has no pleasure in his life. He is a one trick pony and that is to beat down the powerless white gorillas of the world. <laughs> it doesn't really get much worse than that. So uh, when you're down, think about that poor son of a bitch uh, whose only joy in life is meanness and causing pain to others. Right. And at least you're not in that situation. God, who'd want to be that idiot? Fucking, oh my God. And they just straw man at the end, like just make up this hypothetical basement dweller. Yeah, that's the guy, gank. Yeah, that's the millions of people who enjoy comedy and who disagree with your bullshit ideology. Billions. Yeah, they're all fucked up. Nobody is as enlightened and decent and awesome as you people. Oh God, fuck the Young Turks. Go dislike their video. Let them know. The atheist Rue sends his regards. And so does Harambe. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you, okay? Much better than you. You are garbage.